So right now the fire is in the back of the truck, but pretty soon it's going to be probably moving inside the cab of the truck. Yeah, so you see the uh, you see the fire on the ground? Those rags on the ground? That's probably what caught fire in the back of his truck. So he took out those tools, those gas cans and so it probably took out all that stuff. I, we should feel bad for him, right? Because his truck is about to burn down. Yeah, so now look, the fire is spread to the inside of the cab. It probably broke out his back window. Oh, and that thing that's on fire on the shoulder is a weed eater. Fire truck. Yay! Now, I think that's oh, the ground's on fire now. Yeah. So his truck is total. Like he won't be able to drive that truck anymore. At least it was white, cost a little less. So look, so the fire truck is gets to turn around right there and make oh, everyone oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, because some people won't stop it. Oh. Dad, don't drop your foot. Okay, thank you. So this fire truck is going to block at least one lane of traffic. It, it's causing traffic. It will. It'll cause a big backup. All these... Luckily, there's not much traffic right now. So can tell someone tell me why the fire truck is blocking that lane? Because he's allowed to. He is allowed to, but there's a reason. Does anybody know the reason why he's so blocking? Nobody would drive past him, so they won't have to come fire too. Um, you got it half right. It's because the firefighters are going to be working in that lane to put the truck out, right? They're going to be working in that lane of traffic. So. If someone's trying to drive in that lane of traffic, they could get hurt. So the reason he's parked there is to stop anybody from driving there. No, we never throw anything down off the freeway because those cars are traveling so fast, if that hits someone's windshield, it could break through someone's windshield and hurt them. Oh, that was The what? The windshield is broken. Yeah, it flew out of the windshield, yeah. You're right, it did. Oh! Is this me or does that look like mustard gas? I hope everybody has their windshield down. Oh, do you see the police officer behind the fire truck? Yeah. What's he doing? Yeah, do you know what it is? One of his tools. It's a flare. And he's going to be putting them in the road to warn people to move over, even though they probably already are. So look, look at the fire now. It's almost gone. Yeah, it's pretty much out. I don't think there's probably anything left on fire, just a lot of hot stuff. Now everybody's going to get home. He's going to have to walk. So he was just told by that fireman that his truck doesn't work. Did you see his reaction, how sad he was? Did you hear that alarm? Yeah. So that, come here, you can stand here, man. Come here. I feel bad for him too. So that alarm you just heard is an alarm on the firemen where if they stand still too long, that alarm will go off. Just in case they're working in a smoke-filled environment and they get hurt and fall down, that alarm notifies other people that they're not okay and that they need help. 
So you'll see firemen um, twitch and move a little bit every 60 seconds so their alarm doesn't go off. It's to make sure that they're okay. So he did some good stuff, like you see this weed whacker still on fire. So it's got gas or something in it that's on fire. And he pulled out his leaf blower and other rags and stuff, his personal stuff. There's even a little fire right there. And he's standing by his gas can, so he took his gas cans out. So they don't blow up? Yeah, so they wouldn't make the fire bigger. I 